<laughs> Good evening. My name is Doug Schwab. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Potomac Council, uh, where I grew up. Uh, it's my home council. Um, so Potomac Council started in, I uh, was chartered in 1913. This is the original charter. Um, Troop One was uh, sponsored by the b and YMCA, and uh, we live along the, the b and uh, Railroad, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, and it was very common for them to have a YMCA in, in all the towns along the railroad, and a lot of them had uh, scout units. Um, just a little bit about uh, Cumberland, just so you know uh, a little bit about that. Uh, scouting started here uh, very early in the 1910s, uh, in Cumberland, Frostburg, and Kaiser. Um, in the late 1926, organized scouting professionals started to get together and talk about councils. They formed the Cumberland Council, um, and it was established in these territories, as you can see, and it was finally voted upon at Potomac Council in 1938. First council executive there, John Rhodes. Um, so, let's see. So we bought Camp Potomac in 1946, and officially it became a camp in 1951. Uh, Cub Scouts started in 1941, exploring in 1960s. And as many councils, Cumberland membership peaked in the 60s. So where is Cumberland, Maryland? So this is the map of the United States, obviously, East Coast. Maryland is that state in orange. Uh, a little bit about Cumberland, Maryland. Actor William H. Macy is from here. You may have heard of him. George Washington had his first and last army command here. And you'll find all that, how, why that matters a little bit later. The terminus of the CNO Canal is here. It goes from Washington, D.C. to, C to uh, Cumberland. The National Road started here. And uh, that was uh, put out by uh, President Roosevelt, I'm sorry, President um, Eisenhower. And um, it started here and went to Pittsburgh. The CNO Canal was supposed to go all the way to Pittsburgh, but it's, it was stopped shortly after the National Road started. Uh, up until World War II, it was the biggest city in Maryland. And my ancestors came here with a wagon of dry goods and sold products to the coal miners. So a quick bit about me, I'm a relatively newbie to the group, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of my background. Uh, I come from a scouting family, as you can see my, this is a, a very early shot of my family. Oh, I brought this picture because my parents are here. My mom was very active in Cub Scouting when my brother raised his hand at a, uh, a cub meeting and said, yeah, my parents will help. My dad went to the uh, 37 National Jamboree, so he's been around in scouting. He was around in scouting until he passed away in uh, 2013. Um, Eagle Scout, um, both my boys were Eagles. Uh, I was given the Distinguished Eagle Scout uh, a long time ago. I was council, council president of Potomac Council. I've attended and worked at several National World Jamborees. I ran the Jamboseum in the 2023 National Jamboree. And I'm a scout leader of a troop of scouts with special needs that I started in 1977. Um, what I collect is down there, National World Jamboree, the special needs achievement patches, um, uh, SOAR, I guess that's supposed to be SOAR scouting, um, Thelma Council, World War II items, you can read them there, World Jamboree flashes, National Jamboree, World Jamboree newspapers, and a whole lot more. Please don't tell my wife. Um, so, this is a map of Western Maryland, and uh, these are the community strips, and this is the council shoulder patches. It started with these community strips. Um, this is a frame that I have showing a lot of the ones in the areas around us. And uh, you can follow the arrows, the arrows and see where all these little towns are. Um, uh, Western Port and Learning County is actually where my family started, down here on the bottom. So um, that's where the coal mines are in Westerport, Atlantic County. My family came here a long time ago and uh, started selling to the coal miners. So, so um, the first red and white CSPs um, were these. I think they're the same as a lot of councils. And um, we were known as Potomac Council. It kind of switched over to show that our council served both Maryland and West Virginia. So. We did two counties in Maryland, Allegheny and Garrett, which are the two westernmost counties, and um, four counties in West Virginia. This was our first CSP. Um, can you, anybody tell me what's wrong with this? So the blue state is West Virginia, 
and the right and the yellow state is Maryland. So it was fixed the second time, and you can see um, S3 actually fixed it, and um, you can see West Virginia, Maryland in the correct places. Uh, if we go back, if I go back to this one, you can see the states are really very poorly done. And for some reason, our first CSP uh, was corrected. The state sizes and proportionals were uh, corrected later on. So you can see uh, these were our first CSPs. We also put out uh, unit issues for the different um, national jamborees. This is our 1985. Uh, I tried to show the jamboree patch there in case you don't remember that, what year is associated with the jamboree. Uh, 1989, uh, World uh, National Jamboree. Uh, this is the 1993. And you see the CSP a lot of time, you know, this carries over the blue. Um, this one was the first one that was a little bit different. Uh, we added the train and the canal boat. Remember I told you the canal boat um uh canal ended here and the railroad started in cumberland so um also you may know that the 1937 national jamboree patch looked very similar to this one in 1997. 2001 we tried to to highlight the the train and the um and the canal boat again um it uh very good jamboree. So we had our 65th anniversary in um, 2002. Um, again, the council was started in 1937. Our 65th anniversary um, was celebrated here locally with different events uh, showcasing the history. Uh, this became our new standard. Um, it gives a 3D effect of the mountains and the valleys and um, the Potomac River there again goes from Cumberland to DC. So this, uh, the difference between these two, you can see there's uh, black outlines. It's harder to see in this image, but there's no black outlines at all in this patch. Um, so it's just a little bit different from the previous one. No black outline on the states. See, um, you can see there's a black outline and shadowing I don't know if you can see my mouse, but over here and underneath the state of Maryland. So, um, so this is the 2005 National Jamboree. Um, again, those are steeples in Cumberland. There's uh, a lot of churches in Cumberland. So this highlighted the steeples of the churches. Um, this is the 2010, obviously the 100th anniversary of scouting. And uh, we put out a special um, CSP for that as well. Uh, this is a special edition with the Mylar border of the 100th anniversary. Uh, probably was given out at some special event where people gave lots of money to the council. So in, 19, in 2010, we started um, the um, Dr. McNinja series. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of Dr. McNinja, but um, I'll, I'll explain who he is in just a moment. So these three were issued for the Jamboree, uh, one with Dr. McNinja and his sword, another one with the dinosaur, and the third one holding his special compass. And also this 2010 was the last Jamboree held at Fort AP Hill in Virginia. So Dr. McNinja is this guy, Chris Hastings. Uh, he was in my son's scout troops when they were in scouts as, uh, as youth. And um, you can go ahead and look him up if you want on uh, Wikipedia. But Chris was a, a local kind of celebrity. He, he created a, uh, a web comic, uh, probably pretty early on in the web comic days, you know, 2005 or 2004, he started this. And, uh, you know, it was pretty early on on the internet for um, internet um, comics, web comics. So um, you can read a little bit about Chris, but he was a Scout Potomac Council, uh, again, um, in uh, Boys Troop, so. Uh, it was pretty cool for have to have him design all these patches for a long time. This again is Dr. McNinja. This is the OA issue for 2010. Authorquag Lodge was our lodge um, at that time in Potomac Council. Camp Aganza was a really interesting camporee um, in, um, in 2010. 
Um, it was held at Moraine State Park, north of Pittsburgh, and it was the home of the National Jamborees in 73 and 77. So it was a whole Northeast region, Area 4 Camporee. So there were kids there from all over the region. It was uh, a pretty amazing event. And uh, it was just like a little mini jamboree. There were all kinds of different activities for the kids to do. And uh, it was a great event, really great event. 2011, you know, we started issuing these Friends of Scouting patches. Um, we planned to do it for all the different counties that we served. Again, Garrett County is a, a county west of us. And um, Castleman River Bridge is a, a really old bridge uh, that dates back. It's been replaced by the highway. But again, that's what we were showcasing in this uh, feature for Allegheny, for Garrett County. Grant County is down in West Virginia, known for their... Um, they're fishing in the golden trout. Um, if you're a fisherman, I would assume you know what a golden trout is. I think I caught one once down there. It's uh, they're pretty beautiful. So um, again, featuring Grant County. Um, this is um, Hardy County in Hardy County, um, West Virginia. They have all these chicken farms. So they're basically these huge buildings that that they ra basically raise chickens for people like Purdue and companies like that. So it's a it's an industry down there in Hardy County. Uh, again, this is their Friends of Scouting patch to 2013. Again, for the Jamboree in 2013, Dr. McNinja is back. Uh, again, Dr. McNinja with a zombie, uh, with the train, and all these scenes obviously are from his stories that Chris has written over the years with a giant squid. Um, keep going. So this was the lodge uh, flap and um, the underpatch for that same jamboree, again, written with, uh, with Chris's uh, Dr. McNinja theme. So in 2013, uh, we merged with Laurel Highlands Council and became Potomac District. So the same area that we had it as Potomac Council is now just a district within Laurel Highlands, Laurel Highlands Council. Uh, Laurel Highlands Council is based in Pennsylvania and um, it's split in two by Westmoreland Fayette Council, which is this white part here. Um, this area down here in the light blue in Maryland, West Virginia is what was Potomac Council. Again, this is where I live, where the, the gold star is. And all these are districts uh, within Laurel Highlands Council. So um, that's it. <laughs> 